Okay. The real winner, though, of Hater of the Week this week, I'm going to tell you about Ike Catcher. Now, I'm going to do some content with this later in the week and make a shorter version of the story for Instagram. But this thing happened while I was at Muscle Beach um, with Isaiah Miranda. We were shooting a video. He asked me to do a video where I would dress up as Thor, meaning I would carry around a plastic hammer and put on a red cape. And people could challenge me to do push-ups, pull-ups, or better. We kind of figured it out while we're there. We're like, oh, what are you going to do? These little YouTube videos, like, I don't come up with this stuff. I'm not going to be going to Venice Beach and getting a camera crew and challenging people to, to, you know, a competition of strength. But we end up at Muscle Beach, I guess, because it's outdoors. There's people there. There's tourists. It's whatever. The vibe is right to do stuff like this because you kind of, people can see you and then come in and challenge you, right? So we show up. We get a few people who, you know, recognize Isaiah, recognize I mean, recognize me. The, the vibe was very fun. You know, somebody challenged me to do push-ups, uh, pull-ups, body weight, bench press. We're kind of figuring it out on the go. But I'm being encouraging. I'm doing like a funny character. Like, nobody can beat me. I have infinite strength. But also, you know, when they're going, it's not like I'm going, boo, you suck. I'm like, hey, good job. I'm trying to give this a, a fun vibe because I believe in stuff like that. I don't think you have to be like hostile to people in a YouTube video because you don't want them to get cash-apped 50 bucks if they beat me uh, in a push-up contest. Now, there's this guy, Ike Catcher, who I had seen videos of before. I've seen some people put like a girl will post him like standing, pressing her over her uh, over his head. He seems to be like this fixture at Muscle Beach. Honestly, when I first saw him, I'm like, is this like a homeless dude who lives at Muscle Beach? I really don't know. But he kind of has this whatever, a gimmick where I saw, I went to his page, I saw all of his content was like, Here's me doing muscle-ups. Here's me doing, you know, handstand push-ups on the bars at Venice Beach. Not my thing. I'm, you know, I, I see things like that. And I'm like, don't judge, don't judge, don't judge. But would I personally, you know, hang out at Venice Beach and work out all doors, outdoors all day for attention? No, but I assume, hey, if I met him, I'm sure he's a nice guy. Not necessarily the case, you realize. And sometimes your assumptions about people are correct. Sometimes your intuition can guide you so while we were at the shoot he shows up and I guess he works at Muscle Beach or somebody, somebody's trying to tell me who knows him he either works or has a financial stake either way I'm going to outline what he did and why his behavior was sort of shocking we we showed up uh, we we're in the middle of shooting the video he shows up and immediately starts like pacing around he looked visibly upset we're shooting a bit and he comes up in the middle of us, very close to us, on the bars and starts doing muscle-ups. But it wasn't like that was him working out. It was like very obvious that he was doing this just to show off. And in fact, he started grunting and growling while, uh, while doing the muscle-ups. Like, we'd do a muscle-up and go, mm, ah, mm, ah. Also, the dude's 6'9", has a great body. Like, this, you know, I can compliment him, honestly, that he has an amazing physique. And he's very tall, good-looking guy. So you almost kind of assume, like, this person is confident, right? This person knows how to interact with other humans, right? Again, wrong. He starts after grunting and growling going, this is my gym. Welcome to my home. As he's, like, go, you know, going up and down doing this, like, yelling at whoever. I'm not sure. And it was really awkward because I'm, like, standing there with Isaiah. Like, I, what is he doing? Does he want to be part of the video? Like, I don't really know what's going on. But I think the only right response was, oh, my God, you're so amazing. Do more muscle-ups. Do more handstand push-ups. You're so cool. I didn't give him that. I sort of looked his direction and wasn't sure what he wanted to do. He got off. He shook hands with Isaiah, ignored me, didn't make eye contact, didn't introduce himself, didn't say a single word to me and kind of went off to his uh, the other side of the gym again. We got a few more clips for the video, and then we walked off. And as I'm walking off, I, I looked back and saw that he kind of was either FaceTiming or filming me and Isaiah or in our general direction. But it looked like he was talking, right? So I'm like, hmm. I'm suspecting that he's doing some video or story about us. He didn't want to talk to us while we're there, but as soon as we leave and are walking away and my back's turned to him, he starts recording me. I didn't know, but I went home and checked the story and found this. So we got a three-minute little video. 
And uh, so it says, wannabe Thor challenging people to pull-ups, so I had to show him some next level. And you can see me and Isaiah. I just hugged this dude who did a pull-up competition with me. Gets in the bars. Starts aggressively doing muscle-ups into handstand push-ups. Again, I don't think you can hear it, but he starts going, welcome to my gym. This is my home. This is my gym. You can hear it on Isaiah's video. Um, pauses up there. This is like a three-minute video, so I'm not sure if all of it's interesting, but because it, it, it would have been one thing if it was just this, right? He says, how do I say it? And then he walks off again. It would have been one thing if it was just this, but it's still rude. It's like, oh, want to be Thor. First of all, I was in a movie playing Thor, so I really am Thor. Then he goes and films the crowd. I assume this is meant to convey like, this crowd is all here for me. Look at all these people here, which I think is uh, a sign of his undelusion. Then he starts. Look, he got his hammer out of it and his cape. As soon as I flipped on him, he left. It was like shit, man. I thought I was doing something, man. <laughs> Zeus came in and shut me down, man. Zeus came in and shut him down. Boy, ask him if he could do a muscle up. He couldn't do one. All you for if he can't do one muscle up, boy. That's why I make him bow down on the muscle beats, homie. So <laughs> he's doing this fake like. That's why I make him bow down to Muscle Beach. Yeah, Thor, Thor thought he was doing something and I had to show him what's up and he ran off. Like, none of that happened. We got the clips he wanted to and then we walked off like normal humans. Also, he didn't ask me if I could do a muscle up or challenge me to muscle ups. Isaiah said something like, can, how many muscle ups can you do? And I said, none, because it's true. I can't, you know, I've never learned how to do one. Would have been cool if Ike showed me how to do it, but I guess he was more <laughs> interested in talking shit about me behind my back into a... Instagram story. So it was just, again, that was like the second thing where I go, Jesus Christ, dude, this guy's like, you know, in his head, I think that makes a lot of sense that he's whatever, the king of muscle beach. And, you know, you can't come into uh, his domain without him needing to prove his superiority at doing muscle ups. Cause I'm sure there's other lifts that we could do. If you, if you wanted to have a legitimate competition of strength, let's deadlift, let's squat, let's bench, let's do whatever Olympic lifting. It's just, you know, muscle ups are something. There's some more talking here that I want to get to. Here, this part? Probably. Probably. What did he say? Um, you come to my town, bow down. You make up the respect for the man that's been flying this field for eight years, day in, day out. There was even no rain falling. I was spitting on the ground for the trans pro. Come out here, show some respect, man. You know what I mean? All that competitive bullshit coming into my little gym in my temple. Like, you ain't gonna win against like catching me. God ain't gonna let you win, not in here. This is my, this is my, this is my town. You come to my town, bow down. And we can link. We make something nice happen, you know what I mean? And all these dudes thinking they can do something because they got a little muscle. Homies is left through this shit, man. Don't care how big you are. Flip when you want these bars, shut you down. Simple as that. Oh my god, it's amazing. And then he plays his own rap music. Uh, you can look that up. Don't worry about me, Ike Catcher. Let me know what you think of the comments of Ike Catcher's music. Um, but it was interesting to see that because he gave this extent. He just kept going with it, right? It was like, wasn't one clip or the next clip. It's like three, four, five Instagram stories. He's doing this monologue like... Yo, when you come to my town, when you come to my gym, I'm going to shut that down. You better show some respect. In his mind, I do think that I wasn't showing enough respect. But I'm not sure how I would have done that. You know, like, at, like hey, is, is Ike here? Is, is the master of the pull-up bars here? Can I come to pay my respects? Like, am I supposed to offer gifts? Am I supposed to, uh, you know, uh, like, you know. Maybe take... he's just the permit guy and you needed a <laughs> permit to film there. And that's all this well, it's is funny. We actually did talk to the permit guy before and they were like, yeah, you can't film like on certain times or on the weekend. There was some did issue he, with it. Did he say anything about filming when Ike was there? Uh, right. <laughs> well, you can film. Oh, here's what he said. You can film on an iPhone, but you can't film on a camera. It was we were like we paid and we figured it out. Now, um, so again, when I look at that, first of all, you know, if you are the permit guy or you work for the gym, it's not a good look to be discouraging people by being rude to them, right? 
So I would say the first thing you want to do is not get angry that people are not showing respect to you in your gym. Like, you know, if I went to a, a, a you know, 24-hour fitness, I don't go like, hey, where's the manager? Let me pay my respects to this guy before I go on the Stairmaster. That's not how gyms work. And if you have a financial stake in it, um, you know, it's not good business to be like mocking the customers that come and pay for your gym because you feel they didn't give you enough respect. So whether you're a worker, you're there to facilitate people working out and following the rules, which we did. And if you have a financial stake, it's also a bad look because, um, you know, you're, you're making yourself look like a fucking idiot on Instagram, right? To all of your followers. And I think he's got like 100,000 followers. You'd have a million maybe if you, you know, didn't act like a simpleton. But um, he posts that and it just got me thinking about the psychology behind that because I think that's what passes for tough or hard or, you know, masculinity these days. And that term toxic masculinity gets thrown around a lot, but I would say that most of it's illegitimate, right? What I would consider a display like that as is a sort of toxic, toxic masculinity because it's a guy who's asserting I'm tough and I'm the best in a competition that he's envisioning in his head, right? If you're in competition with everybody and that makes you act hostile towards them, but they don't even know that you're in a competition, right? And you're perceiving disrespect when none is being given out, that's an ego issue. And you have a lack of understanding of the reality of your surroundings and the reality of your place within the real world. And that's gonna always cause issues because people with overinflated egos or fragile egos, they see threats where there are none. And that makes you act hostile. It makes you um, become paranoid and think that there's plots against you. You know, I'm serious about this. Like it's, it's indicative of a style of thinking that's very non-constructive, right? And it's, Again, a sign of not toughness or confidence that you would see somebody filming a video and feel the need to like outdo them in something or show off in front of them even, right? It tells me that you were uncomfortable having two seconds where the attention wasn't on you. Um, you were uncomfortable with basic social skills like introducing yourself first. If you're wondering what somebody's doing, you can go up and talk to them, right? If you're a guy and you're going to talk shit about somebody and mock them and they were just there, you can do that to their face, right? So, you know, he strikes me as the kind of guy who would try to fight me or something like that, like if I talk shit about him like I am now. But again, you had that opportunity, right? You had the opportunity to challenge me directly. You had the opportunity to, to fight me or talk shit to my face. You chose to not make eye contact, let me walk away make several videos <laughs> about me after the fact. And in your mind, that equals toughness or dominance. And in my mind, that equals insecurity and fragility and instability mentally, right? And I warn people, young men specifically, to not go down that route of seeing everything as a competition, seeing as every situation as a need to assert dominance because you feel threatened or even thinking of things as yours. Is it your gym? Do you own the gym? Okay, again, like I said, then you're probably going to, uh, you know, have a better outcome financially if you don't treat people like that. If you don't view it as this is my gym, therefore I have to be stronger than everyone in it. And I don't think in those terms. I don't look into a gym and go like, I'm the strongest guy here. I use a hashtag buffest person on Instagram because that's funny and ironic. This guy uses the hashtag biggest man on the bars and it's not ironic. And I think that's part of your identity. And if you identify as things like that, like I am the best always. <sighs> what if you're not though, right? What if you're not? What if, uh, what if nobody cares about that, right? What if, what, if, what if that's the only thing that you identify by and then anybody posing any sort of threat or trying to challenge you in any way, that becomes unhealthy because then it's an attack on your identity, not just something you can do. And I think anytime you have 
things like that that are arbitrary, wrapped up in, this is me. That isn't you. Your height or your size or your ability to do pull-ups isn't you, and it just puts you in a position where you're going to be more hostile to everybody because your identity is just that thing. Expand your horizons. Get a hobby outside of doing muscle-ups, huh? All right, can we move on? You know, I'm going to do a more succinct version of this story, but I just had to get that out there before I stop giving a fuck because I don't really care about the stuff or care to, like, get him back or make a video about him, you know, go back to Muscle Beach and do more muscle-ups in him. But I have that happen. You go, this is disturbing and weird, and then you let it go after you talk about it on your podcast.